Good morning, uh, Jamie Torres Springer. I run the construction and development agency at the MTA. Uh, we're here for the third day of public hearings on uh, congestion pricing. It's great to have the public come out and be able to hear from them. We've had, heard from some important stakeholders so far who have told us and reiterated the importance of congestion pricing to the MTA's capital program, to cleaner streets and a cleaner environment, to helping emergency vehicles move faster throughout the city. Uh, and we're also hearing from lots of members of the public that have concerns. That's good. They've been part of the process since this became law years ago, and we'll continue to hear from them. And it, it is always helpful to hear from members of the public what their concerns are, and we're able to uh, take that all into consideration. Thank right, you. Your, take some questions. What is your Andrew. response to Jim Tedesco from Bergen County, who not only refers to the tolling program as a shameless money grab, which you've heard before in media reports, but is, is it different to hear him basically right up in your face saying that and having the room cheer for him? It, it's, it's an irresponsible comment coming from uh, someone from New Jersey. And we've heard a few of these. This is the new MTA. We have been responsibly spending capital dollars to improve the system, to make it more accessible, to keep it in a state of good repair. And we've been very clear about what kind of improvements we're going to get out of this $15 billion. Every dollar from congestion pricing will be dedicated to improving the mass transit system in the region that serves 85% of commuters into the central business district. We're going to get improved signaling. We're going to get 20 or more new stations made ADA accessible, new train cars, battery electric buses, and the MTA is delivering on these projects like never before, on budget, ahead of schedule, over and over again. And that's the, the facts really speak for themselves. All right, Sonia. Yeah. And what's your response to the Bergen County Executive's uh, remarks about just its impact on businesses and traffic in Bergen County that he seems very concerned about? You talked about mom and pop businesses there, and, and he didn't believe that traffic in, in his county had been adequately studied? Well, we're confident that we've studied this uh, through an environmental assessment. Uh, it runs 3,000 pages. Uh, we've looked at every potential impact, and the federal government has exhaustively studied this and signed off on it, and I'm not aware that that's a concern that's been raised. And let me just, uh, let me just add that um, a majority of the commuters coming in from Burton County are taking mass transit and those commuters are coming into the George Washington Bridge Terminal and they're getting on the A train. They're coming into the Port Authority Bus Terminal in Midtown and they're getting on the West Side lines there. Those are the very lines that Jamie and his team are investing money in, this money, to fix so that there could be more service through modern signaling, more throughput on trains and, and, and that benefit not only helps New Yorkers but it also helps his constituents in Bergen County. All right, Greg Marker. The criticism does seem to be centering around the environmental study that was done, was required by the government. It's even part of uh, the lawsuits, uh, the gist of them, that, that could potentially hold this up. What, uh, what did the MTA do? What were you required to do? Uh, should there have been more uh, to uh, answer some of the questions that are coming up now and that they're being asked in a lawsuit? I mean, look, we've done this in partnership with the Federal Highway Administration every single step of the way. We deliberated together with them what was the best approach. They determined in 2017 that uh, an environmental assessment was the appropriate approach. We are following the direction of the federal government in this process because it is a federally directed process. Any other, any other questions? I'll, I'll just add to that, that we're confident about the process that we followed and that we will be successful in the litigation that we're seeing. So the only real result of the litigation is going to be to delay critical improvements, to improve the system, make it more accessible, expand the system, uh, expansion of Second Avenue subway up to East Harlem. Delays in all of those projects are already happening because of the litigation we're seeing and that's the only effect we're gonna see. Just any, on topic. Any on topic, more, more on top question, you have an on top question? All right. What's your Just very quickly, my colleague Mark Santia is reporting on more uh, violent incidents on the subway over the mm -hmm. weekend. Yeah. What assurances can you give commuters that this is not spiraling out of control? Yes, yeah, sure. Andrew, as you know, we're working very closely with the New York City Police Department day and night to make sure that the system is safe. And we're going to continue to do so. We're, we work closely with City Hall and the governor's office. And we're very focused on this, as we have been 
for you know the last few years. This is this is a top priority: the safety of our customers and our workers, and it, it, we're, that's not ending anytime. All right. Oh, yeah, uh, one more question Just here. So. On that as well, um, there was a, a sixty-four-year-old man who was kicked onto the tracks, and a seventeen-year-old girl who was punched. Anything you can say specifically about it, either of these? Yeah, I mean, it, again, similar to what my colleague, you know, John McCarthy said, I mean, this is something that is top of mind and top of agenda for us day in and day out. And the safety of our riders, our customers, and our employee, it is something that we do not waver about. And then that is something we will continue to uh, collaborate with City Hall as well as the governor to strategize and, and attack this issue. Thank you so uh, just much, uh, we're running in just to clarify the date where the federal government uh, instructed us to do an EA was 2019, not 2017. 2020. 2020. 2020. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Guys. We're gonna run back Thanks, in. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Sorry.